The AIDS Memorial Quilt is the world's most visible symbol of the AIDS pandemic, a gripping record of the lives of more than 92,000 individuals whose names have been lovingly stitched into it by friends and family. Today, if laid out in its entirety, the quilt would cover more than 1.3 million square feet. It weighs 54 tons and is the largest ongoing community art project in the world. This impressive scale, however, is matched only by the touching life stories and intimate details memorialized on each panel. The quilt was conceived in November of 1985 by San Francisco gay rights activist Cleve Jones. Since the 1978 assassinations of gay San Francisco supervisor Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone, Jones had helped organize the annual Candlelight March honoring these men. While planning the 1985 march, he learned that more than 1,000 San Franciscans had died of AIDS during the previous year. Jones asked each of his fellow marchers to write on placards the names of friends and loved ones lost to AIDS. At the end of the march, Jones and others stood on ladders to tape these placards to the walls of the San Francisco Federal Building. The wall of names looked like a patchwork quilt. The quilt began in 1987 with a single panel created by Jones for his friend and loved one, Marvin Feldman. Each panel of the quilt measures approximately three feet by six feet, a size that the quilt founders chose specifically because it approximates the size of a human grave. Individual panels are sewn together in groups of eight to create a section commonly referred to as a block. On October 11th, 1987, the quilt was displayed for the first time on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. during the National March on Washington for Lesbian and Gay Rights. It included 1,920 panels and covered a space larger than a football field. The quilt returned to Washington in October of 1988 when 8,288 panels were displayed on the ellipse in front of the White House. More than 6,000 panels had been added to the quilt during the previous year. When the quilt was once again displayed in Washington in 1992, an additional 11,000 new panels were displayed, again on the grounds in front of the Washington Monument. Four years later, in 1996, the quilt again returned to Washington. This time, the 40,000 panels covered the entire National Mall. 1.2 million people attended that display. In 2012, the Names Project, the Atlanta-based organization that cared for the quilt, marked its 25th anniversary with a return to Washington. Now too large to fit on the National Mall alone, portions of the quilt were displayed in more than 50 venues throughout the city. It had grown to include more than 48,000 individual panels that if laid end to end would span over 50 miles. Although the quilt is staggering in size, it represents less than 20% of the AIDS deaths in the United States alone. In early 2020, the quilt's next chapter of memorialization and activism began as five railway cars containing the 54 tons of quilt made their way cross country from Atlanta to San Francisco. Welcoming the quilt back to the place of its beginning, the National AIDS Memorial assumed stewardship for this American treasure with the solemn commitment to care and protect the legacy and the future of the quilt. With support from the Library of Congress, the stories of the quilt will be accessible to people across the country and to generations to come. In its role as caretaker of this treasure, the National AIDS Memorial continues the advocacy work of the quilt through its loan programs, special exhibits, and educational activities. All of these are designed to promote public awareness about the loss of lives to HIV AIDS and the important lessons learned during the pandemic. In supporting panel-making workshops and tenderly receiving new panels, the National AIDS Memorial continues the essential healing work of the quilt. In 1988, a single panel was delivered to the Names Project Foundation. It was unlike any other panel submitted before or since. It arrived with a handwritten note. Those who received the panel and the note knew just what to do. They held on to it and the hope it conveyed, for the panel itself said it all. I hope this quilt will find a permanent place 
and help mark the end of this devastating disease. The last one is both a quiet prayer and a stark reminder of all we have been working on to achieve. With each new panel, each display, each medical advancement, and most importantly, with each moment of recognition that AIDS is about all of us, we inch closer to realizing the goal, the last one, and an end to this global pandemic. Patricia Gonzalez, Bob Scanna, Phyllis Leto, Ned Tribe, Edwin Garcia, Tom Denequalo, Vince Lewis, Driscoll, Terry Dillon, David Hickok, Dan Shepard, Carlos Vallado, Kevin Hunt, Chuck and Roy, Jose Estremera, Cazuza, Renato Hus, Michael O'Connor, Dennis Greco, John Flash McClash, Todd Hutchins.